Hey guys, so a couple of you had requested me to show you my flat iron routine as well as how I maintain my bob. So in this video, I show you how I flat iron my hair on freshly washed hair and also how I sleep in my bob at night. So if you want to see how I do that, then just keep watching. So I'm starting out with freshly washed hair and I'm just putting in some heat protectant in my hair. Um, if you didn't know, I am relaxed. So I just let my hair air dry for about maybe an hour or so and this is how it comes out. It's pretty much all straight. I just have to run a flat iron through it just so it's smooth. So what I'm doing right now is I'm parting my hair in um, sections just so it's more manageable and easy to get to the smaller pieces in the back. Um, I'm using my flat iron by Kiss and it's on 300 degrees. That just works for me, um, but everybody you know is different. So basically I just take the hair in small sections and just basically flat iron it. Um, I really work on the roots. Um, right now I am probably like a month post relaxer, but my hair grows pretty fast so I have to really make sure I get my roots um, so everything just lays nice and flat. So basically I'm going to start on the other section and basically do the same thing. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory and it also gets pretty repetitive so I'm going to um, just hop in and hop out when necessary. Also everything I'm using will be in the description down below so don't panic if I don't mention anything but uh, yeah. So now I'm going to be using another flat iron by Kiss and this one's pretty cool because it has kind of like a hot comb thing to it. They call it a root straightener and that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm using it to straighten my roots. I think that will be really awesome for people who are natural. Um, so don't worry I'll have that in the description box as well. So now I'm going to start working on my bang area and so I take the flat iron and then I kind of curl it back in a way 
um, right now it's kind of looking like an Easter Sunday curl but don't worry it all comes together in the end so I'm just gonna take another piece and I use small sections to do this because I think the the bang curl comes out better that way but I'm gonna take another small piece and do the same thing get the roots then kind of curl the end and yeah I'm just gonna keep doing that So now I'm going to be using my fingers and a paddle brush just to fluff out those curls a little bit more, make them look a little more uniform. Um, and yeah, now I'm just adding some finishing touches to my hair and making sure everything is to my liking. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now it's time to wrap. Now, when I first cut my hair into a bob, wrapping my hair was a disaster because every time I would take it out of the wrap, my hair would be all crinkly, the back would be in disarray, and I would just have to flat iron it almost every day. But I finally learned the key to success. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bobby pin all the loose pieces. So if you know how to wrap your hair, and you have long hair, but now you have short hair, you're gonna wrap your hair the same way, but you're gonna bobby pin like crazy. Don't worry about how much bobby pins you use because we're just gonna take them out later. So I'm just bobby, pin bobby pinning, can't talk today. I'm bobby pinning all the loose hairs because I want the hair, I want all the hair to be flat to my head. I don't want any pieces sticking out. As you can see, there's still some pieces sticking out, but I'm fixing them right now. And as you can see, everything's pretty, pretty much laid down. It's not the prettiest wrap, but you'll see it gets the job done. I'm going to wrap my hair with my satin scarf or do-rag or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's totally cute to me. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap my hair. We'll wrap the scarf. And here's the most important part. Now you need to slide those bobby pins out of your hair because if you keep them in your hair, um, they're going to leave little crimp marks in your hair. So you just need to feel around your hair and make sure you get out all the bobby pins. Sometimes I put so much in that I forget. But I think I've got them all. Then I put my little bonnet on and going to sleep. So it's the next day and I'm going to show you that my little wrapping method is almost perfect. <laughs> so I'm just taking down my hair and as you can see my hair is pretty much smooth. So I'm just going to be parting my hair and playing around with it just to get it back how it was the night before. But yeah, this way you don't have to um, flat iron your hair every day, which is what I was doing for like the first two weeks that I got this cut because I just didn't know how to wrap it. As you can see, the back is still smooth. It still looks good. So we are in motion. I'm just going to keep playing around with my hair, trying to get it um, exactly how I like it. And if you have flyaways like me, you can just use an oil of your choosing just to kind of lay those hairs down. Um, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my hair, so I can see the little crinkle in the back. But it's fine. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, see y'all next time. And thanks for watching, guys.